After signing 13 MOUs on trade, culture, science, archaeology, pharmaceutical policy planning and research with Indonesia, PM Modi has departed from Jakarta. Indonesia is now on Indonesia and is now en route to Kuala Lumpur. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be, make a brief stopover in Kuala Lumpur on his way to Singapore, during which he will meet his newly elected Malaysian counterpart Mahathir Mohamad, who at 92 is the world's oldest leader. Now, during their meeting, both leaders are expected to deliberate on ways to deepen bilateral relationship in a range of areas, including trade and investment. Now, on the 1st of June, on the last leg of his visit, PM Modi will be holding extensive talks with Singaporean Prime Minister Lee Hee Soong. Uh, PM Modi will also be addressing the CEOs of top 20 companies and is likely to ink a number of packs in the areas of defense, space and skill development. Another highlight of PM Modi's visit to Singapore will be his keynote address at the Shangri-La Dialogue. Now, he is the first Indian Prime Minister to ha who has been invited to, the de to deliver the keynote address at the forum. And A PM Modi's official engagements, including a, visiting, uh, a visit to some of the most prominent sites in the Indonesian capital, interspared with crucial talks. This is the Kalibata Hero Cemetery. Prime Minister Narendra Modi began his day in Indonesia with a visit to the site and paid homage to the martyrs of the Indonesian War of Independence. After laying wreath at the memorial in South Jakarta, Prime Minister Modi was officially welcomed by the Indonesian President Joko Widodo. The Istana Merdeka Palace rolled out its red carpet to welcome the Indian Prime Minister who held both a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Indonesian leader and a delegation level talk too. Both nations agreed to cooperate on a wide gamut of issues, terrorism being the primary one. Prime Minister Modi condemned recent terror strikes in the island nation, calling for a need to tackle extremism with urgency. Friends, hal mein huye atanki hamlo mein Indonesia ke nirdos logon ke mare jane ka mujhe gehra dukh hai. Bharat इस प्रकार के हमलों की कड़ी निंदा करता है इस मुश्किल समय में भारत इंडोनेशिया के साथ मजबूती के साथ खड़ा है इस प्रकार की त्रासद घटनाएं यह संदेश देती हैं कि आतंकवाद से लड़ने के लिए विश्वस्तर पर मिलजुल कर किए जा रहे हैं प्रयासों में और अधिक गति लाने की समय की मांग है। The two leaders signed 13 memoranda of understanding on issues ranging from trade, culture, science to maritime security. After a promising round of deliberations, the two leaders let their hair down. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Widodo flew kites. The occasion was the inauguration of a kite festival along the theme of Indian mythologies. PM Modi's outreach was multi-layered. He extended his Ramadan greetings to the Muslim-majority nation with a visit to one of the biggest mosques in Jakarta and Southeast Asia at large, the Istiqlal Mosque. The Indian Prime Minister had his Madison moment in the Indonesian capital when thousands turned up to hear him at the Jakarta Convention Center. Indonesians were in for a sweet surprise when Prime Minister Modi announced a 30-day free visa scheme for citizens of the country. 
इंडोनेशिया के नागरिकों के लिए 30 दिन के लिए भारत यात्रा के निशुल्क विषय की व्यवस्था की जा रही है The Indonesian president left no stone unturned in extending a warm welcome to the Indian leader. Having rekindled a long-standing friendship with Indonesia, he wraps up his visit. Prime Minister Modi now heads to Malaysia and Singapore in a bid to concretize his ATI strategy. Bureau report, Vion.